Hello, I'm Mary Morrissey, and this is a short description of EN2LV Lyric Voices, 1340 to 1660. The Oxford English Dictionary defines lyric as of or pertaining to the lyre, adapted to the lyre, meant to be sung, pertaining to or characteristic of song. And so it is now used as the name for short poems, whether or not intended to be sung, that are divided into stanzas or strophes and directly express the poet's own thoughts and sentiments. Let's look at how that definition helps us understand the poems we study on this module. Firstly, this is poetry that has musical qualities, and on this module we will look at the musical qualities of verse. We will look at rhythm and rhyme, we will look at the social situations in which poetry and song was performed, and we will look at poems in which music and the performance of music or the performance of poetry are part of the poem's themes. Poems like Sir Thomas Wyatt's Blame Not My Lute, for example. The definition said that lyric poetry directly addresses the poet's thoughts or sentiments, and we will look at the way lyric poetry uses poetic personae and different points of view. We will look at the use of poetic conventions and generic characteristics. We will in particular look at the importance of courtly love and Petrarchism to the love lyrics of this period. And in religious lyrics, we will look at the humanity of Jesus and Mary in the representation of those figures. The authors and texts that we explore are various, as well as looking at canonical authors like Chaucer, Shakespeare, John Donne and Andrew Marvell, we will look at lesser known authors. You can study any of the lyric poems in our set text anthologies and you can explore lyric poems from other anthologies to find poems that you like. The assessments also let you explore the poetry of the period. The assessed essay is due on Monday of week 7 and for this exercise you choose three poems to compare to one of the poems that we set. Your second exercise is an anthology and that's due on Monday of week 1 of the next term. For this exercise you create a short anthology, five to seven poems that are connected by a theme that you choose. Lyric Voices explores short poems about big themes about growing up and growing old, about our connection with the divine and our fear of death, and with the variousness of our loves and desires.